This was a golden moment for cyclists Jason Kenny and Team GB at London 2012. And it's one that the record-breaking team want to repeat in Rio next year. Before the glory, though, here is where you'll find the guts at the National Cycling Centre in Manchester. With every completed training lap, the more confident Jason Kenny is of success next year. I'm always optimistic going into a race. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I didn't think we could be competitive, you know. Um, I want to be at the front end of races. I don't want to be messing around at the back making up the numbers. So, you know, that's why I'm involved in sport. And I, I do genuinely think that we can be competitive. I think there's, there's, there's plenty of talent in the team and we've got a really good support staff around us. And I think that if everything goes our way and all the stars align, then we could end up back at the front again. But in a week which has seen revelations about alleged doping and endurance events at previous games, the former world record holder wants the cheats weeded out. I try not to read too much into it because I think, you know, like I say, from my point of view, I have to have faith that everyone that I race is clean. Otherwise, I'm, I'm starting on the back foot before we even start racing. This track is the home of British cycling. The miles put in here by these athletes led to 12 Olympic medals last time. But is it too much to expect them to reach those heights again in Rio? British Cycling's performance director thinks it's important to manage expectations. I would expect that we're going to perform well in Rio. Um, I can't see us having the same sort of medal hall, no. Um, given the fact of, you know, the likes of the Sir Chris Hoyes, Vicky Penelins and everyone else that's left the program, this, this is a much younger squad. Uh, we're developing and moving forward, but we're still very competitive. The weight of history for Team GB cyclists is measured in gold medals. These cyclists know that every training lap before Rio counts. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.